Okay, so anyways, um, one thing I didn't show in a tour is that you can go to any of these elevators and you can, it'll, it'll take you to either the ground level or the roof level. Um, ground level is just pretty much exiting the, uh, exiting the building from the bottom, but what I like to do is exit from the roof. I thought this would be kind of, kind of a cool feature, you know, when you just own the, the tallest building. Well, you don't own the building, you just own the office to the tallest building in the game. You know, I just, I just feel like, you know, going out here, taking out my old sneaker. Oh my god, what am I doing? I just totally failed there. Well, anyways, uh, I kind of fell off, if you guys uh, see that. You really just land right here safely. That was not safely. Okay, well, we're back out here. I just had to go back to the office and have my assistant call in my personal vehicle, aka the the FMJ. Um, I did my customization to it. I did not record it. I feel really bad for doing that because I wish you guys were there to watch. All right, guys, I just purchased the Reaper and it'll be coming here shortly. So uh, I'm gonna be able to probably just go outside and wait a couple minutes and come back into the garage. All right, there it is. Your new Reaper has arrived in Tensil Towers, which is this one. So I'll go check it out. All right, there she is, right next to the FMJ. The two, uh, the two most popular cars for this update, for this felony update. Uh, let's give it a quick fix. I have about four hundred thousand dollars, I think, all I have in this car. Um. So uh, we're not gonna worry about brakes, armor. Actually, yeah, let's, let's worry about them. You might never know. So we got the engine. I only have like a, what is that? I had to win eight more races until I get at level four. I need to start racing more. Uh, level three, explosives. Don't worry about that. Horn, loop, always look pretty safe. Uh, lights, uh, always uh, xenon. Neon kit, neon layout, always front, back, and side, neon color. I am gonna probably put this as. Uh, well, I, felt, I think this thing has, has like a secondary color in it. Probably does, yeah. I'm gonna, probably going to keep it at white. I'm going to try to do some magic with that. Um, plate, we're not going to worry about it. Spray, uh... How many ones? I need one 14 to get chrome. Jeez. Oh boy, my racing career is about to begin again. Um... Metallic. Let's do... I'm gonna do that one car on uh, the Battle of Gay Tony. It's that one police car that you see in the main city of uh, uh, Liberty City. Uh, I think it goes. Uh, okay, let's bring this thing down to. Uh, let's go Galaxy Blue with uh, Peerless Scent Red. Let's be up here. Not down there. And that bright red. Is the brightest red? Torino Red? Yeah, Torino Red will be. I think that's the closest I'll get to it. If I don't get it, well, screw it. I believe the bottom color here is the secondary color. Um, oh, okay. I guess the only secondary I'm color I'm worried about is the one, the things that are inside. See that color change right there? Alright, uh, let's go with the carbon wing. Actually, uh, yeah, let's go with carbon wing. Suspension, sport like suspension, transmission, race transmission. I have all well, 100. Quickly put that turbo tune in there. Wheels. Uh, we're gonna go high end. Um, I think I, I actually think about uh, keeping the tires. Yeah, I'm gonna keep the tires. Uh, no, we can't do it. Uh, design. We can't do anything like that. Bulletproof, yes. Tire smoke. Blue. Last but certainly not least, windows. Limo. I hate it how that's like the secondary color. Like it's only changing like the stitching. In the car, see, it's only changing the stitching out there. There's nothing you can do with the car itself. Unless if I miss something. I was hoping the bottom, the things right here under, under the, the the car door would be the secondary color, but I guess you just can't change that color for some reason. Well, I guess that's all you can do with this car. Bummer. I I, I could do stuff with the FMJ that I, I can't do with this car. But it's, that's probably the reason why the FMJ costs more than this. Well, who knows? Never put a crew emblem. That's just a waste of money right there. Jeez, I, was I was trying to do something really cool with that, but no, I, I guess it just got it just went out of me. I didn't want to do it anymore. 
Let's do a red. Red's always awesome. All right, that's uh, that is it with the. Oh uh, my God, it's raining. So there you go. I just did a full customization. I haven't done this in a long time. Jeez, when was the last time I did a car customization in GTA 5? Well, there you guys have it. This is the uh, probably the lower standard version of the Zentorno, which was, was still my one of my favorite cars in the game. Uh, so this has been the customization of the Reaper. The cost of this uh, cost of this car is about one million three hundred thousand dollars. So you guys got the money, you got the car. If you got money for the customization, you got yourself a pretty hot rod. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like, if you did it, and I'll see you guys in the next video where we make later.